going back across to journalist and author Riham Khan joining us on the broadcast to further delve into these issues. Uh, Riham, uh, those string of cases, what's also common and a common thread that runs through these cases is uh, the sympathy wave that these leaders attracted for going behind bar bars. And that is uh, one of the things that was discussed uh, uh, when the charges against uh, Nawaz Sharif and Mariam Nawaz and Captain Savdar were announced, will the leadership of the PMLN be able to attract uh, any of those sympathy votes uh, in the favour of the leadership? Yes, already we've seen a huge um, uprising almost, I'd say, in central Punjab. So I think today it would be safe to say that central Punjab, unless there is widespread rigging, um, which is which is quite difficult if, if you think about it, to, uh, you know, certain areas are very difficult to... Uh, uh, to tamper with. So central Punjab, I think, is going to go uh, clearly to PMLN. Um, we we have uh, heard quite a few friends who are connected um, or allegedly connected, I say, you know, because a lot of people want to stay, uh, uh, stay relevant or connected. And I think that some of it is mainly propaganda and perception building also. So I was getting a lot of messages yesterday that uh, connected sources at Pindi have said that Imran is going to get a landslide of 130 five seats guaranteed. Um, I don't know how that's going to happen. It is going to be a, a miraculous um, effort of, of rigging as well uh, to get that many seats. But there will be some tampering. Having said that, Central Punjab, I think, is, is very much looking comfortably going to PMLN. And um, reports coming out from the family uh, were this, that Shabazz Sharif's lobby was looking very comfortable. In fact, they were uh, chilling out uh, in Dunga Gali, and they weren't too bothered about, uh, they didn't have any fear of not winning Central Punjab. Those were the words that were used. Um, of course, the, the similar sequence that, that we, we just saw, you're absolutely right, that the, the, the thing that is common to all of them is A, they're all politicians, uh, so they've been put away at times for corruption. And interestingly, when it suits uh, uh, the powers that be, they've come out also to contest. So, for example, Asif Ali Zardari, who has been called everything in the book, uh, served uh, 11 long years and uh, was recently a couple of years ago, was um, uh, was acquitted in all the cases. And so that's how the law stands today, that he has been acquitted in all of the cases that he was put behind bars for. I do think that the sympathy wave created for Bhutto, we can already see. So now we have a young lad who's not even a Bhutto, but claims to be a Bhutto. And so even Zardaris have become Bhuttos because of that one execution back in um, uh, back in the 70s. And today also, I think that even though we don't have the powerful images that we saw of Benazir Bhutto and of Nusrat Bhutto being attacked with the blood gushing out of the forehead and, 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 and the, the protests and the Lati charges uh, during uh, Zia's era, still there is a huge wave of sympathy for Mariam Nawaz. Even the audios coming out of uh, uh, the prison cells have garnered a lot of support, not only with the PMLN voters, but, but a lot of people. As, as I've said repeatedly, we're very emotional um, uh, subcontinent uh, voters are very emotional. And so this sort of uh, persecution, and it is seen as persecution, people don't really think that they've been put behind bars for corruption. People know that they were getting too powerful and that this Everyone across the board also understand that this was not to target Nawaz Sharif, but to target Mariam Nawaz, who was the heir apparent. And of course, the leadership that she's shown um, has been has been astounding. The response that she's been getting has been astounding. I feel that the opponents and those who feared her have created a leader and uh, have created a leader uh, almost at par with Benazir Bhutto despite the fact that she's not had the long years of struggle that uh, Mohtarma Benazir Bhutto Shaheed had. So it's uh, actually done her a lot of favor. She's only 44. There's a good 10 years, even if they put her away for 10 years. I think she has a lot of fight left in her, and, and I think we could uh, see her um, uh, come emerging as a much stronger leader. So sometimes I think that this is quite a... Uh, possibility that this could be a conspiracy to may maybe make Mariam Nawaz a really good leader and to give her this uh, leadership stamp. Who knows? 